Hello there, this is Father Ken Lau, and welcome to the new episode of Nuggets for the Soul. Since it's the month of October, uh, I w- and, dedica- and this month of October is dedicated to Mary, I would like to speak uh, something about Mary. And, uh, and today I'm going to discuss about a special beautiful prayer uh, composed by St. Aloysius Gonzaga uh, to Mary. He was a Jesuit, and uh, he died very young at 24 years old. Uh, he has a great devotion to the Sacred Heart of Jesus, but also to Mary. Uh, so he composed this prayer, and the, the the title of this prayer is called "O Domina Mia," which is a Latin uh, words for uh, "My Lady." I try to say this prayer really every day, uh, especially in the morning after do uh, after I do uh, pray the Angelus and do my 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 morning prayer, and. Uh, the, the prayer goes like this. My queen, my mother, I give myself entirely to you. And to show my devotion to you, I consecrate to you this day my eyes, my ears, my mouth, my heart, my whole body without reserve. Wherefore, good mother, since I am your own, keep me and guard me as your property and possession. So it, it, it's a beautiful way of consecrating ourselves to Mary. And when we consecrate ourselves to Mary, sometimes we would forget, but our, our Blessed Mother would never forget our consecration to her. So he would really look after us. So what does it mean to uh, offer up our, our, our eyes, our, our hands, our, 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 our whole body uh, to Mary? And uh, I've read from the book of Love of the Sacred Heart, where Jesus gave a uh, private revelation uh, to Saint McPhil, okay. So, if you want to uh, to read that, and in that in that book, uh, it talks about how we could imitate the feet, the knees, the heart, the mouth, the eyes, and the ears of Jesus. Okay, so this is beautiful. Uh, so, this was revealed uh, to Saint McPhil by Jesus. It says here, His feet, which are His desires, burn for us. He must see how cold are our desires for spiritual things and how helpless for human things. The knees of Christ are for us mirrors of humility. They were bent so often for us in prayer and also when he washed his apostles' feet. In this we can recognize our pride, which prevent us from humbling ourselves, though we are but dust and ashes. The heart of Christ is for us a mirror of the most burning love, where we may see clearly the coldness of our own hearts towards God and our neighbor. The mouth of Christ is for us a mirror of sweet words, full of praise and thanksgiving. We can recognize by it the worthlessness of our words and the omissions of which we are guilty in divine praise and in prayer. The eyes of our Lord are for us the mirrors of divine truth. In them we may see the darkness caused by our unfaithfulness, which prevent us from knowing the truth. The ears of our Lord are for us the mirrors of obedience, for he was always ready to obey God, his Father, and to listen to our, our prayers. So beautiful, huh? So whenever you consecrate your eyes, your ears, my mouth, your heart, your, your knees to to, to Mary, uh, ask Mary to intercede in your behalf so that you will be able to imitate uh, Jesus. So be a living saint, Jesus, Mary, Joseph, we trust in you.